hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new video in this video today i'm gonna show you how to fix lagging and stuttering or crackling audio issues uh, on your xenia emulator for any game you can see i'm using uh, xenia canary and i have uh, sonic the uh, the game so you can see this game is running is running very slowly so you can see so if you face uh, this error lagging stuttering audio delay uh, audio issues while playing games on startup or after starting then i will show you all settings for uh, for for the issue uh, for your xenia so let's start you guys do not skip any part of this video i have different solutions so go to your xenia uh, configuration file and open with go to notepad open scroll down and go to your yep display you can see full screen uh do not use full screen uh while uh, playing games in in your xenia so i'm using false full as full screen and internal display resolution you can see resolution h so h is default uh, 1280 by 720 so if you have uh, 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 but you need to check your uh, native resolution from your uh, uh, GP device or display adapter or I go to my display settings and scroll down so you can see display resolution uh, is uh, 1600 by 900 recommended so this is my native resolution i go to my nvidia control panel and uh, go to yeah change resolution so you can see this is my native resolution you can see same here so 16 by 900 and this one i scroll down yep this one so i can choose this one 13. so if you have a native resolution 9 uh, 1920 by 1080p then you can uh, type 16 but i choose this one 13. So go to file and save and this is first solution and second solution is uh, you need to disable VSync from your uh, Xenia or control panel. So first of all go to your control panel and uh, go to manage 3D settings and go to VSync options scroll down so vertical sync should be off from here yeah and click on apply apply and close it scroll down and search for vsync mod vsync option yeah over here you can see vsync should be false from here and save if you have low npc i mean low gpu device and low internal gpu and low cpu then you can turn it on okay uh, but i recommend it false and scroll down no scroll up and search for gpu yeah gpu and tap your vulcan otherwise you can select this one d3 d12 so you can try uh, these options one by one go to file and save so if Vulkan is not workable then you can uh, use d3 d12 okay because uh, you know, Vulkan can cause uh, some graphical issues 
uh, while playing games in Xenia. So you can try these options one by one and close it. And after these settings, uh, you can fix issues like uh, lagging, performance issues for Xenia. So if you're still facing the issue, then I have another solution, best solution. Because some games uh, works, works on uh, uh, older version of the Xenia. Uh, so this is my latest version. So I open it first. So you can see Xenia Canary. Uh, Canary Experimental uh, Gen 23 2024. So this is latest version of Xenia. Uh, so in this condition, some condition in some case, in some case you can use older version. So I have another Xenia. This one. I open it and so you can see Xenia Canary September 24, 2020. So you can use older versions. So I so I open it. So here we go. So we need some more settings. Close it, reopen it, scroll down, and we think should be false. And save. Now close it and I try again. Now guys you can see my game is running very fastly but you need to enable VSync from uh, your GP device so I go to my GP device again scroll down so you need to select this one use the 3D application settings click on apply I open it again and scroll down. So we think should be true. And scroll down and type here Vulkan. This one GPU. Save. Uh, this one STL or XRU2. This one XRD2, yep. Save and open it. So, as you can see, game is working 